In this video, we will learn how to create IPv6 assignments in the RIPE database. First, let's look at an example of an IPv6 allocation to an LIR. The minimum allocation size for IPv6 is a slash 32. And, just like in IPv4, every IPv6 assignment must be registered in the RIPE database. IPv6 assignments are registered in the RIPE database as INET6GNOME objects. You can register individual assignments or groups of assignments. If you look at the INET6GNOME object that represents your allocation, you can see that your maintainer is listed as maintained by. This means that you can partially update the allocation object. You can also create new objects for smaller address blocks within your allocation. To do this, you need to be logged in with your RIPE-NCC Access account. Let's look at an example. You have 200 DSL customers, and you are going to assign a slash 56 to each of them. You can register these assignments in two different ways. 1. Create 200 inet 6 num objects with the status Assigned, one object for each individual customer assignment. That is a lot of objects to create. 2. You can group all of these assignments into one single inet 6 num object with the status Aggregated by LIR. Less work. We will create the object using the second option. Slash 48 contains 256 slash 56 blocks. This should be enough for our 200 assignments. Let's see how this works in the RIPE database. Make sure you are logged in with your RIPE NCC Access account. Go to RIPE.net and select Web Updates. Choose INET 6 num from the list of object types. All maintainers linked to your RIPE NCC Access account will be automatically selected to protect your INET 6 num object. You may choose to remove any of them by clicking on the X. In the INET 6 num attribute, fill out the prefix you are going to use to make these 200 assignments. In this case, it is a slash 48. When choosing net names, choose a net name that describes how the address block will be used. If this is an assignment for an end user, put the end user's name as the net name. Fill in the country code of the country where these IPs will be used. The admin C and tech C require NIC handles. They represent contact information for a person or a role. The status, in this case, will be aggregated by LIR, as you are grouping together several assignments in one inet 6 num object. This object is not complete yet. There is still one attribute missing. Click the plus sign next to the status attribute and choose Assignment Size. Here you write the size of individual assignments that are grouped together in this single inet 6 num object. You can only group together assignments of the same size. In our example, each assignment is a slash 56 per customer, so we write 56. Click Submit. Great work! You have registered 200 IPv6 assignments in one go. What are the main characteristics of grouping the assignments together? You do not need to specify the name or the number of customers included in that INET 6 num object. The status will be aggregated by LIR. You will have to add an attribute assignment size to specify the size of each assignment in that INET 6 num object. If you choose to register an INET 6 num object for each single assignment, the status will be assigned. You do not need to add the attribute assignment size. For business customers, we recommend to register their assignments as a separate INET 6 num object. 